are getting ready to go to um, Copenhagen. One week vacation together on motorcycles. Can you imagine our excitement? We started in Trondheim and hurried down to Oslo. Remember Daniel from the first Coffee Friends video? He just moved to Oslo, so we spent the first night with him and his girlfriend at their new apartment. The next day, we stopped by Lillestrøm to visit my best friend Issy before we headed to Sweden. We are on our first official motorcycle trip together. Yes! We're, we don't really have a plan, so we're just driving towards uh, Copenhagen and whatever happens, happens on the way, I guess. Uh-huh. So now we're in Sweden. Where? Dingle. Close to a place called Dingle or something. And we just uh, found uh, like a forest road and, uh, and drove off. This is our camping spot for tonight. Today we'll set the course towards um, Gothenburg first. Maybe have a coffee in Gothenburg. The first breakfast. Coffee shop in uh, Gothenburg. You know any? We uh, just found a random coffee shop in uh, Gothenburg and turned out a roaster that I competed against a couple of years ago in the national championship in Norway. Uh, works here or roasts the coffee for this place. We even got some uh, some coffee from Colombia and from uh, Kenya. That's gonna be uh, interesting. What the fuck? This guy just opened up in like 10 seconds. Holy shit! This is crazy. We're supposed to uh, camp tonight in a hammock or a tent. Ah! I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll have to uh, make some change. We rode away from the rain and found a dirt road. So this will be our camping spot tonight. We're near a lake called Biarsjön. And this is an amazing place. We were driving along a dirt road for quite a while. And then we came to this place. Beautiful. <laughs> So this was our camp last night. We got here as it was getting dark. We didn't really see exactly how it looked. But I have to say, this is pretty nice. How about a swim? Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> There's nothing like a morning bath in the lake after camping. Time to pack up. Choosing to avoid the highways was a good choice. It took a lot longer, but wow, the sights were really worth it. Coffee break. Kenyan. Notes of hazelnut. <laughs> Riding into Malmö, we noticed that the streets were almost empty and we were wondering why. But when we got to the city center, we found the answer. Apparently, we landed in the middle of a crayfish eating festival. <laughs> So, 
That was the crayfish festival. Tomorrow morning we are going to Denmark. And uh, we're gonna have to find a place to sleep tonight. We found a, a forest-like place about an hour from there. So we're gonna go there tonight. One of the great things about riding a motorcycle is that you can go a lot of places that are difficult to get to with a car. We love riding dirt roads and camping in the woods where we can. Checking for spiders. There are three spiders in my jacket. I can see. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing today? Motorcycle camping is pretty awesome. Driving towards the border got us really excited to drive across the almost 8 km long Ödesund bridge between Sweden and Denmark. Going to the border! We didn't have a plan in going to Copenhagen, so the choice was a bit random. But we had seven days and we knew we wanted to go somewhere. And so, here we are. We're in Copenhagen. Super lucky with the weather. It's like 25, 30 degrees. Driving across the bridge was amazing. Such a beautiful view. Now we're gonna explore here for a little bit before um, finding a coffee shop. I have to check out the coffee scene opening, of course. The Coffee Collective is one of the best coffee roasteries in Denmark. They have several locations and we dropped by the one at Bernikov. After having a chat with the barista about all the coffees, we tasted the whole menu. They had a pretty good Ethiopia and Kenya and a coffee ice cream that disappeared pretty fast. So that was our day in um, Denmark. Yeah. Today we're heading back to Sweden and going home. On our way back, we drove through Gothenburg again and stopped by our friend Ichi at Alchemisten, who set up a cupping for us. That is the best thing about working with coffee. You find friends all over the world. Ichi told us about how he got into coffee and what his thoughts on transparency in the coffee trade were. You can hear more about that in a later video.
Before we left Gothenburg, I got some help fixing the broken chain on my motorcycle at the Yamaha store. You gotta love the motorcycle community. Back in Norway, we took the side roads to explore the beautiful countryside. When we came to an intersection, I managed to tip my bike over into the ditch. Luckily, I got some help from a stranger getting it back up. Although a little scratched, the bike was fine, and we headed towards Oslo to see Daniel again, and another friend, Robin, who also used to be a colleague of mine at Jakobsnosvart. Then we set the course for home. We got to play Teletubbies again and had one more night of camping. Ride down steep hill? Check. Make a U-turn? Fail. How do I keep finding myself in this position? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell button to be notified when we upload new videos. We're still learning this YouTube thing, but if you want to support us, you can do that while enjoying a good cup of coffee. Our very own coffee, roasted by Kenneth at the facilities of Jaksnosvart, is now for sale on our website, ridethebean.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram.